And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Reliable at leading us into an ambush, you mean? Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back at a DLC add-on to a not-so-memorable sequel to the Dragon Age Origins with Mark of the Assassin for Dragon Age 2. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Absolutely loving Dragon Age Origins, I was extremely excited for Dragon Age 2, especially with Bioware's unique ability to take your save from Dragon Age Origins and in essence carry that save to Dragon Age 2 that will retain all of your choices and story as well into the same universe. Dragon Age 2 was basically a very toned down version of Origins in every way, but I did love the characters and story. With Mark of the Assassin as a DLC add-on, I was excited for one reason and one reason alone, Felicia Day. Mark of the Assassin was developed by Bioware and released by Electronic Arts in 2011 for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, PlayStation 3, and for the Xbox 360. Thanks to the power of backwards compatibility, I was able to replay this memory on the Xbox Series X. Like I noted before, Felicia Day and the fact that it was Dragon Age was the sole reason for me to pick this one up. I love Felicia Day for her interest in gaming and absolutely loved her in the web series The Guild. The story revolves around an elf named Talus who enlists your character for help in a heist that is too good to turn down or strictly out of curiosity. The story does have some interesting plot points but nothing here impacts the rest of the main game in Dragon Age 2. Although the choices you make don't really impact anything at all, it was really nice to see the differences between the different paths taken. So tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is, just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hay. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. The gameplay here is the same, but add stealth to the equation in certain parts as you will use the shadows for concealment. You don't really have a choice here where I'd rather fight through these areas. I had to take my time similar to Metal Gear Solid, but much easier to get through. These battles remain the same, but I never was against this one on console and always preferred this style and Inquisition over Origins, so I was right at home. The characters are all very well designed, along with excellent voice acting that keeps you engaged. But this is a norm for Bioware at this time where you were there for the story, dialogue, and choice. All in all, I still felt that the characters that were designed here hold up very well even in today's standards. What I want is to ensure you cannot further hinder my plans. Do your job and kill them, Chasin. Is that not why I keep you around? That is it! Hold them! I'm releasing the pets! The visuals are nice for the time, but does look bland overall in design. 
which was a theme of Dragon Age 2. Nothing here screams innovation, but it was still fun to roam around this world. The sound and voice acting is done very well, with Felicia Day bringing to life Talos and doing a fantastic job at that. I'm a bit biased here due to the fandom I had with the guild, but I still think the game shines in the, this department overall. In the end, you get an average DLC for $10 that will take you roughly 2 hours to complete and will add to the Dragon Age Pulse that does a decent job. I do feel that it didn't age as well as I remembered, but still loved the interactions and introduction to Felicia Day as Talos. One of my most memorable DLCs that in the end was just that, a fond memory that should have been just a memory. That's it for this look into Mark of the Assassin for Dragon Age 2. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Congratulations on finding the Wyvern. It looks like a fine one indeed. There will be a celebration in the Chateau Courtyard. Do attend when you're ready. You let him go? That was very merciful. We only slaughter 90% of the things we meet. Damn. Uh.